I feel like when you were talking about your understanding of what's happening in the hip hop clubs, you're working with Bobby Condors and obviously your understanding of the Caribbean culture and even the fact that your pops had produced Heartbeat. I feel like all that led to Aini Kamozi, the Hot Stepper remix. And I remember when I first had the idea, I was at Hot 97, you know, every Friday. So I did it on my four track at the crib and then I played it for Flex and Angie Martinez. And she was like, yo, I like that. And he's like, yo, that's just hot. That's crazy that just something that you like cooked up in your head, essentially a genre that didn't exist, the hybrid of hip hop classics yeah. and reggae went to number one. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it knocked in the club, you know, I think DJs picked it up and didn't it was made for us. You made for us New Yorkers. When it's made for us New Yorkers, it works anywhere. Now, you know, I'm from Queens. We have blend tapes. So I already understood I could speed this record up plus three and slow that one down negative two. Wow. And somehow these two records I heard in my head are in key. You listen to Ghetto Red Hot Remix. You would think Supercat did the vocals to that track. So I was like, you know what? Instead of me blending the hip hop with the reggae, now I'm going to blend the classics with the reggae. So I did Shaba remix with Don't Look Any Further for Let's Get It On. Yes, it's on me. I did Supercat Outstanding remix. I put Mega Banton on top of Barry White, you know, playing your game. I was like, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to take all these old classic joints and put the reggae underneath it. And that's where Here Comes the Hot Stepper comes from. Because I'd already produced Here Comes the Hot Stepper as a song. And it sounded more like Cypress Hill, you know what I'm saying? It was more like na 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 And he's, he was singing like Das Effects. No, no, we don't die. Bo, I know what Bo don't know. I'm the lyrical gangster. Like he was thinking like he was Cypress and Das. 